Something about an author's lifestyle that people probably don't realize is just how often we don't put on real clothes. I'm in my sweatpants 90% of the time. I know this seems like this isn't gonna go well, but it is. I'm Taylor Jenkins Reid, author of Daisy Jones and the Six, Reese's book club pick. Daisy Jones and the Six is about the rise and fall of a 70s rock band, but in particular, it's the story of their two lead singers. Daisy Jones and Billy Dunn, who are these incredibly electric, talented people who have a very volatile relationship. I've been obsessed with romantic musical duos for a really long time, Stevie Nicks, Lindsey Buckingham being the most obvious. I am not a musician. I don't sing, I don't play any instruments, I can't read music, I know almost nothing about music theory at all. I'm just an obsessive Fan. I just love listening to women sing their hearts out. And I think at first, because I'm not a musician, I felt like maybe I didn't have the authority to write this book. But I then realized that authority isn't a real thing, and so I just decided to do it anyway. I wanted to set this book in Los Angeles in the 1970s because I like writing about periods of time that I wish that I'd lived through. It's just so glamorous and seedy, and I've always loved the Southern California sound, bands like the Eagles and Linda Ronstadt and Fleetwood Mac. I just wanted to pretend I was one of them for a minute. Something that you guys can look forward to is the show. Daisy Jones and the Six is being adapted into a limited series television show for Amazon Studios. I have to write in my office. I need my monitor, my keyboard, my mouse. I'm not one of those people that can go to a cafe. I need my space. In order to write, I have to have an iced tea. The one thing that can distract me from writing is my daughter. She's two and a half, and sometimes she comes right into my office and asks to snuggle, and I am not gonna turn that down. The last book that I read is The Castle on Sunset by Sean Levy. One book everyone should read is The Little Prince. I think the first time that I really felt seen in a book was when I read Bridget Jones for the first time. Um, I was probably only like 13 or 14, and here was this woman who did not have anything figured out, and yet um, she still had like this really cool job and these amazing, incredible friends, and she like ended up with Colin Firth. I would say the three things that someone should do to become a writer are to write a story, make sure that it's something only you can write, and then let people read it. Hi, y'all. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe here or here, or here, like somewhere in this area. Anywhere, over there.